I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna to go through an introduction to the Bezier pen in Inkscape. And there are two types of people when you're a beginner in Inkscape. Everybody is a baby cheetah because you wanna go fast, and then you try the Bezier pen, and you either feel like this, or you feel like this, huh? So that's how I felt. I felt like both of those. So I wanted to make this tutorial so you can go through the absolute basics and we're gonna reference this in future tutorials on bigger projects. So to begin, the Bezier pen is this icon right here. And the mode that you wanna be in, so click on Bezier pen, for now, for the beginning, for the basics, is create regular Bezier path. If you've played with the Bezier pen before, you know it's, it's very powerful, but it's not super intuitive. So let's just build our skills with some simple exercises to start all Bezier pen actions end with double click. So as they get more complicated, just remember double click completes it. Exercise one, let's make a straight line. So if you have your Bezier pen selected, click and release, that's just a regular left click. Then you can drag out a line, any length you want, any direction you want from the starting point and then double click. And that's just a straight line. So click and release, drag out your line, any direction you want, any length, double click. Now, if you're playing along and your line is hard to see on your screen, this menu is the fill and stroke menu. So up here, this paintbrush in the corner, make sure you have that selected and then go to stroke, make sure your stroke paint is, is on and then stroke style, you can change the width. I have it set to millimeters, whatever your, the, the, whatever your default is, is fine. Just, just get to a point where it's nice and thick and easy to see. Okay, next, exercise two. We're gonna make a curve with the Bezier pen. And if you watch these tutorials, they go so fast and they can manipulate the curves any way they want, but let's just do the most basic. So Bezier pen, this time click and hold. Don't let go of the left mouse button. Draw out your line. And then when you release, now you can make your curve and then double click to complete it. And then what's this? I've got a fill and this is how the Bezier pen in the beginning can be frustrating. This is literally your learning curve. So if your curves have a fill, go back to your fill and stroke menu on fill X, desele deselect the fill. Let's try it again. So click and hold, drag, let go of the mouse button and you can create your curve. Double click and that completes it. You with me? Exercise three. We're gonna add on to the curve, just the simple straight line after the curve. So click and hold, drag it out, release, that gives you your curve, then click and release, and then no rush, you can pull out another line. Double click ends it. Okay, try that again. So I'll keep the instructions there. Click and hold, release, there's your curve, then click and release, and then drag out a line any direction you want, then double click. Do you feel your confidence building? Let's go to the double curve. So click and hold, drag it out, release to get the first curve, then click and hold. Ooh, that's what you see in the tutorials. They go fast with this. And then double click ends it. Okay, and we'll talk through this one. So I'll keep the instructions there. Click and hold, drag, release to get your first curve, then click but keep holding the mouse button, drag, and then you can make your second curve. Double click to end it. That was exercise four for exercise five. What if you just want straight lines? A lot of times in practical application, you just need straight lines with the Bezier pen. So for the PC, it'll be shift. So hold shift, click and release, then drag out a line, click and release, but keep holding shift this time. And then you can click and release, drag out a line, double click to end it. Let's try that again. So hold shift, click and release, Drag it out, click and release. Keep holding shift, click and release, click and release. And there you have an interesting shape there. Okay, there's a shortcut, there's a shortcut. You can also get a little bit more complicated. If you're on the Bezier pen, up here, there's different modes. So this one right here is called create a sequence of straight line segments. So click on that. And this is a lot more intuitive. This feels like every other program you've ever used. Just click around at will and it'll go straight. So I, I'm gonna put this in the basic tutorial because it, it's actually the simplest way to do straight lines. Next exercise, actually before you go on, go back up into the mode area and go back to create regular Bezier path. 
All right, so how do I create a vertical or horizontal line? So a lot of times in practical application, you wanna stay flat or go straight up and down. So hold control, at least for a PC, and then click and release. And then now you'll notice it kind of locks in that horizontal axis and it goes up in increments, like that's 45 degrees. And then here's uh, straight up and down. So then just keep holding control the whole time. And that'll keep it locked into one of those increments and then double click to, to complete the um, action. Okay, let's try that again. So hold control, click and release, and then you can feel it locked in any direction you want. Double click to end it. All right, so I put together this exercise, which I thought would be easy, and it's not easy. So I practiced a little bit. It's all, you're, everybody's a work in progress, no matter what level you're at, and I'm still learning too. So, but let's go through what I thought was gonna be a simple exercise to end this basic tutorial, but now we're kind of like moving into intermediate, but let's, let's just try it. So go to your Bezier pen. We're gonna, we're gonna create, using the skills you just learned, uh, duplicate the five. And actually, no joke, no joke, if you are really not feeling up to speed yet, control D will duplicate your number. You can, you can do uh, you can do one. You can do one curve and then one straight down. But I'm gonna try the five. Okay, so go to your Bezier pen. All right, so to make the flat top, I'll hold control, I'll click and release, and then bring it across, and that locks in that flat. I'll click and release and let go of control. Super easy. I'll come down the, the neck of the five and then I'll just click and release. So that's, that's just real simple. If you wanna go try and do the belly of the five, it's just like tracing letters when you're learning how to write. So I'm gonna bring it out here, but now I'm gonna click and hold and then I can arc it. So that looks pretty good. And then let go and then I know I'm gonna to have to arc this big belly of the five, so that's why I'm coming down here. And then I'll click and hold Let's see how close I can get. So it's all right. And then if I come up, so see, I went out of the lines. I went out of the line, so that's a fail. Control Z, let's try it again. I'll do Control, bring it across, come down, one more, one more try. Let's click and hold, make a nice bend, come down here, bend it, bend it, and then come up. Ooh, that's much better. All right, it's still pretty bad, but you get the picture. This is a beginner tutorial. I'll practice later. All right, for the one, if you feel more comfortable with the one, we'll do the hold control and then draw up. That keeps you locked in the perfect vertical. Then click and release. You're, you have an active line and then bring it down maybe halfway Then click and hold and then it lets you bend to the end and then double click. That's a little bit better. Oh, you get the picture. So basically the Bezier pen, it's, uh, it's something that takes some practice, but it has a lot of good practical applications when you're playing with Thingscape. So hopefully this helped. Actually, before you go, I just watched this back and I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, when you draw your Bezier path, you can further manipulate it. So up here, it's called Edit Paths by Node. If I click on that, you see how I, I, didn't, I just didn't do quite perfect on my five. If I wanted to fix it, click on some of the nodes and then you can, you can uh, manipulate it further to get it a lot better. Um, and that's actually very common. You don't have to draw things perfectly. Um, I just thought I'd mention that as an editor's note, edit paths by node. But my intention was as a beginner's tutorial just to get a feel for drawing. Maybe five was too ambitious, but even on the one, if you click on this, you can then uh, see how you can, you can go, you can, you can make it a reverse R. You can do anything you want with you. You can delete it. Let's cut it right there. Thank you.